Welcome to Superfresh, a 4,000 square foot night market that is unapologetically Asian, celebrating and elevating many communities. We want people to be completely transformed when they walk into the space and feel like they are in a familiar space like a night market in any major Asian city. We have a Japanese Filipino bodega in the front, multiple food vendors. We have a big bar component in the front. And then we actually even have a speakeasy somewhere in the space with a secret kitchen in it. The idea was born out of struggle, a financial and emotional one that many small businesses experienced. So the last couple of years have been a big struggle for restaurants. I mean, you have had countless lockdowns. Through that adversity, you turned it into an opportunity. At what point did the light switch go off for you? With all the stuff that was going on with Asian hate, a lot of the adversity that our communities were facing, um, we looked at it really as an opportunity to kind of celebrate Asian culture. The idea was the alleys in Asia are some of the most interesting spaces. Right? You had the little shops, the little restaurants. A lot of the actual decorations were brought from parents' homes, grandparents. My parents ran a dry cleaner for 30 years, so we have a laundromat here, you know, um, as an homage to them. Days after opening, the lines have been stretching around the block. The excitement over the space and the food. So one of the things we wanted to do is we wanted to bring a level of Asian food that was different from the norm. The guys from Katsupan do, in my opinion, the best katsu sandwiches in the city, and they bake their own shokupan, which is Japanese milk bread. The Baobird guys do fried chicken and baos. And we have a Big Beef Bowl, which is northern style hand-pulled noodles. So we're gonna get you a fresh pulled noodle. We'll even probably film Chef Steven. Food is more than just sustenance. It is delicious, it is intentional, and it is political. It's just surreal to be in a space like this, because I remember, you know, I'm Vietnamese. I remember growing up in Scarborough, my mom would pack me Vietnamese food, and I would get made fun of. You know, they would say, oh, you're eating worms, or that smells weird. And now being in a space like this, tell me what this space means to you to have a space like this exist. Growing up as Western children, we want it to be like everyone else. We want to eat bologna sandwiches and pb and j and not speak Viet or Chinese in public with our parents, right? Because we were kind of embarrassed. These last couple of years really reminded us that we should be really, really proud of who we are and everything about our culture. This space is here, it just opened up, but what is your hope for the space moving forward? The hope for the space is, in many ways, the way I feel the hope is for general, generally underrepresented communities. May is Asian Heritage Month. It's also the month where I get the most phone calls. I'm Asian the other 11 months too. Our food is just the vessel. It's the vessel for the story of a space that we've built for the community. It's about the entire experience of feeling really comfortable in a safe space.